For the tenth time, a request for bail was submitted at Bangkok's criminal court, and for a tenth time, pro-reform protesters gathered outside. They're there to support Prarit Chiwara, known as Penguin, and the movement calling for reform in the government and monarchy. Chiwara has been detained since February and faces multiple charges of defaming the monarchy, or Les Majesté. Each count carries a 15-year prison sentence. One of those in the crowd is Chiwara's mother. I want to ask the President of the Supreme Court, the Director General, or anybody who has power to please answer and explain the real reason to this mother, why my son doesn't get bail. The 22-year-old has been on hunger strike for 50 days, his personal protest against the court rejecting bail. I spoke to a defiant Chihuahua in January, just a few weeks before he was arrested. He was not concerned about Les Majestate, also known as Article 112. Les Majesté is something that is written on a piece of toilet paper. Nobody still fears this law. No matter how hard they are trying to enforce this law, it won't help suppress criticism of the monarchy. The human rights group Amnesty International believes the strict law has been weaponized by the authorities. Nearly 80 people have been recently charged, including six children. The reason that they do not let them get bailed out because worry that they will stir up the trouble again. Les Majes has always been as one of the political tools to use against the opponents. One of the latest complaints filed against Chihuahua followed this protest in front of a pharmaceutical firm owned by the king. Chihuahua is accusing the royal family of using its influence for the selection and manufacture of COVID-19 vaccines. There's a section of society here that strongly supports the monarchy, and they see this movement calling for reform within the monarchy as an attack on the foundation of Thai culture. <laughs> Even though there have been many royal families, without a monarchy, Thailand would no longer be Thailand. It'd be a different country, and I believe that the law isn't used to bully people who think differently. It's based on facts. There are also health concerns for another protest leader, Panaseya Sitiji Ratanagun, known as Rung. She's been on hunger strike for more than a month after being denied bail five times. In what appears to be an attempt to keep protesters off the streets, authorities continue to deny bail for the pro-reform leadership. But the move is having the opposite effect, giving protesters a reason to gather. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.